Hey guys, ah, hey, I can't, I can't move. Hey guys, what's up? It's Matthew Black and J-Man and Hollow. Yeah. The Atlas build team is here. Yeah, they're J-Man and Hollow are, you know, permanent members of our little Minecraft build team, Atlas. Today, I was going to go through, we have put together all of our modern lighting ideas. All the ideas that we have, ignore, ignore that. All the ideas that we have for modern lighting. So, if you like to build modern and you like to light up your worlds and not be basic, then maybe some of this will be new to you. Uh, a lot of it obviously won't. It's kind of like a torch on a fence post. Wow. Well, <laughs> So, so creative. We did kind of throw out every single idea we had. <laughs> so creative. Literally every single idea. Yeah, so obviously maybe you guys have have done a torch on a fence post before and a torch on a wall. And in modern, maybe that's probably not what you're looking for. Um, but we do have a lot of other ideas that you've probably seen around. We have the in rod with a carpet on top for a lamp. Double it up, make it a floor lamp. But I've also taken... Mm. A liking to using the uh, the glazed terracotta blocks that everyone hates. I've come to the conclusion that I like using those as lampshades. These the kind of funky 70s vibe <laughs> that you get out of it. And uh, we have street lights, which I'm sure you guys are familiar with. You can make better ones than we can, I'm sure. But that's just an example. <laughs> um, it's here's only a template. Like you can do whatever you want with it. Exactly. Here's one of the more crazy ones. Um, if you can get a dragon egg, and on PC you can even uh, texture them differently. Um, on console you can get one by pushing it with a piston. Um, if you can get a dragon egg, you can make some pretty cool, those old style lamps like this. You just throw a lampshade on top, and of course it doesn't produce any light, but you use the old carpet trick, or you know put light behind a painting. Um, like any type of hidden light and then you use this as the uh, as the actual lamp simulation you can also do something strange like this if you want to and make some sort of weird lamp out of it there's a few things you could do here I mean you can uh, you could simply place the carpet on top of well, you know I don't know how to do it but anyway <laughs> I was gonna say you can place the uh, let's see you can place the dragon egg there Hello. All right, and then grab, you know, grab a block and grab your uh stand like that and you could always you could always do a lamp like that. And it's a little weird, but you know, maybe that's what you want to do. Obviously, we've got the beacon in the ground. I know Jay put together a lot of these. <laughs> yeah, love beacons I in the ground. <laughs> yeah, beacons in the ground were used quite a bit on my own modern world as well yeah, as this I... other stair design over here. Yeah, I love it. I love using them also as um, pool lights. You put this in a pool, like, and for some reason like it looks... Whole, like, like the whole thing with it being in the ground, in the normal ground here with the bushes around it came from a, like an avenue highway that we kind of built. Oh, yeah. And this kind of block, block, uh, kept uh, both sides separate. And it was this nice lighting thing, and there was these custom-made trees that we put that were small in between each section as well. It was yeah. very nice. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, that's awesome. I also like using these as pool lighting because it just seems like the the type of lights you see in a pool in a hot tub. And in here, I think uh, Hollow put together likes using these as a night light. You know, really low level lighting. You just, you know, you're sleeping. You don't want it to be bright as all get out. You just put a redstone torch there. These, this over here, are uh, I have used for my uh, underwater restaurant I did at one point. Oh yeah, you actually built pillars and the lights in the pillar with a redstone torch. Yes. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, and it was all, this is all, and not, this over here was also used in the entrance to it, to the restaurant. Oh yeah, it's simply a redstone block behind a piece of glass. Yeah, which is nice. And you know, some of these you've seen before, and some of them you haven't. Hopefully, um, obviously, just putting glowstone in the ceiling. If you got the no, right texture, standard. it can accomplish a lot, I suppose. This is one that's really interesting. Um, in portals, actually, don't block out light so you put something like a beacon below it and you put your in portal there and it looks a little funky but if you grab the uh you know the um uh, where am i where am i i don't know how to play okay if you grab the eye of ender and you slap it in there it kind of goes up and connects to the tree and now you have a, a tree that that kind of a potted plant that kind of produces light 
little weird one there. Um, this I use constantly. <laughs> like every modern build he does. Um, this is pretty much my thing. <laughs> I mean, I know other people are using it, but this is this is my gig right here. Um, you just throw a block down like this. You place your end rod on top of it. You delete it, and then you throw your levers in. And yeah, and I use the double tall ones a lot because they look even better. Because you can also pretty much extend these as high as you want. Yeah, I guess it doesn't have to be like one or two. It can go as far as you feel like. Yeah, if I end up building a skyscraper, I might end up building like some sort of skyscraper with like some of these that are 10, 12 blocks long on them. So as far as ceiling lighting goes, I've seen this a lot. Um, I guess you can do Although it. Although this is pretty kinda, boring though. <laughs> yeah, it kind of makes me sad. You know, you're holding that glass block and it makes me think you could just throw that glass block on there and even that would look better. Just boom. <laughs> but um, you could do that. Back to the glazed territory terracotta I love it as just these weird artistic retro lampshades and I use this in a tattoo parlor that I built recently and hopefully I can throw a video of that on screen but this is yeah, just at least we found a use for awesome. terracotta finally oh. yeah everyone's like this block's so ugly and here I am using it all the time this one right here I used this glare the yellow glazed terracotta in a bar that I did and I'll throw a video of that on screen hopefully and that just looks amazing when you properly put it in um, obviously, you've got the hanging glowstone, like I said, proper texture pack, it looks good. This is the modern texture pack, which is on PS4, PS3, Xbox 360, you know, Xbox also, One. If you use, like, some, also, if you want to use something, you can alternatively do something like, I don't know, it doesn't have to be stone, but you could, like, if you really want to, you could just outline it. That's true. With some sort of block. And have it hanging like that that's if true. you really wanted to. You know, something else I've seen that's freaking funky th that you just reminded me of, Jay, is. Hang on. If we grab the glass and you kind of do this. Um, hang on. Uh, yes, I've, I think I can see what you're getting at. I, I've, I've seen this as well. Yeah, where you like do something like with uh, the glass panes. Oh, they don't connect to glowstone. That's interesting. I thought they did, to be honest with you. They probably people probably use them with um, uh, like like sea lanterns. I can ima I'd imagine. Oh yeah, you know what? In all of these lighting examples, we didn't use a single sea lantern. What's wrong with us? What is wrong with us? <laughs> Although I guess on honestly, with how sea lanterns work, it's basically like glowstone. So. I guess the problem is you, I'm not a giant. You just like if you really wanted to use a. Like sea lanterns, just flip some of the glowstone out for it. Yeah, I'm not a giant fan of sea lanterns. Like, I don't know why. I guess instance, they make a pretty lamp. This little, the little things I put in my uh, I set up in my underwater restaurant. You could totally use sea lanterns for this. Well, yeah, definitely. Or you know what? This is the the overly simplified version. Fill these blocks in with that black glass block you got. Put one back. Put it in the center. Boom. And then, what is it, like, boom, boom, boom. Then you're really f saving your resources there. If you're in survival mode, you're making a pretty awesome light with only one tiny light source. So, yeah, yeah. that's cool. I guess it's a cool texture. Maybe some people like it more than me. I imagine a lot of people would use this as a pool light instead of the beacon. But I think it's just down uh -huh, to taste. Honestly, I, 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 think the, I think the beacon's better, to be honest. Yeah, it's down to taste. Um, but we do this a lot on a friend of mine's modern world, just a hanging light. Like I said, in this texture pack, which is also on the Windows 10 version of Minecraft, you, um, you've basically just got your fluorescent common lighting that you normally have. I've been doing this a lot recently, which is the same idea. So it's symbolizing the same thing in real life. Like this is those fluorescent lights you see in businesses. This is technically the same thing, the hanging fluorescent lights, but rather than using it this way, I've used in rods to provide the light and just put the iron trap doors on the bottom. So that's symbolizing the exact same thing. Um, here we have an interesting one. It's hanging. I've, I've used iron trap doors here. Um, and I'm on console, so this is not world edit. If you don't know how to do this already, um, you simply grab a piston and place it. And you place... 
a block on top of it. It has to be on top of it or below it or beside it. Um, actually, I think it has to be on top of it or below it. But you put an iron trap door in front of it, and when you press the button, it will flip it up, and then it will actually leave it there. So you can actually have an iron trap door in the upright position, whereas normally if you place it, it would be stuck like this, and you would have to provide power to it. So that's a uh, console trick for you guys if you don't know that one. But you can use it it's for lighting. It's incredibly complicated. Yeah, it's a little complicated, but if that's the look you're going for, then more power to you. Um, yeah, talking me... about a really hard to set up lighting system. Yeah, speaking of hard to set up, this is impossible on console, but you can do it on. Um, you could do it on what do you call it? PC. You could just place one, but the oven does provide light, and if that's something to keep in mind, if you're going to be using your oven all the time, or if you have a PC and you can just pl simply place a lit oven block instead of a one that's turned off. That can provide you some light, which is interesting. I think Hollow's put something together over here for us. Um, if you didn't know this, redstone ore actually produces the world's smallest amount of light. And as you see Jay walk across it, if you wait for it to die back down, you watch the cobblestone, actually. Watch the cobblestone. Wait for it to die back down. Now, Jay, if you walk back across it for us, you can actually watch the light. See that? You can see it light up. So... It kind of lights up as you touch it, which is really weird. And if you didn't know that, I'm sure a lot of people do know that. But that can be used as some sort of strange lighting there. Or um, just like an interesting night path. Exactly. This is something I put together. Um, you just throw a beacon with a daylight sensor on top of it. And the daylight sensors don't block light. So now you have maybe solar powered light. And it's not actually functioning. But it gives you that idea of solar-powered light. If you wanted to make it functioning, that part's easy. You take a redstone lamp, and you put that down there instead. And then you switch that thing to nighttime, and all of a sudden, you have lights that turn on at night. It's not like this is 100% original, but I've seen people build these above ground, and there's no reason to. Because, like I said, daylight sensors do not block light. So look at that. There you go. And when you turn it to day, they're going to turn off. So that's cool. Um, looks like Hollow put together a porch here. If it's Halloween, it's worth noting that the jack-o'-lanterns have a light source as well that you can almost never use. So it's fun to use those when you can. <laughs> uh, this is one that's pretty common in modern builds. But you put a glowstone and you put a lever above it. And you flick it down, and not only is the lever powering it, or redstone lamp, I mean, not only is the lever powering it, but it also looks like the bracket that's holding it to the wall. So. Like, almost like it's hanging, or. Yeah, exactly. So, that's bolted a, in. so that, I like that aesthetic as well. This one's interesting. This one's interesting. This is a uh, Inrod lamp using a dragon head as the lampshade. And. <laughs> I remember when you saw him first do this, I was like, what is this? You're like, what are you doing? Now, this one's cool, and if you're a little confused on how to build it, um, I'll just give you a quick example. It's not hard. You simply slap that down, throw a dragon head on there, preferably straight back. Then you can slap a block into it so it's glitched into the wall, and then put a light under it, and it's just there. It's super easy. And you might want this aesthetic because it's a little bit different than putting a whole block on top. So it's kind of cool. Um, a little bit of an unconventional one. That is a nether portal. And if you can handle the sound and the particle effects, as you can see, it provides a little bit of moody lighting. So you can have your room have some sort of strange... This is almost futuristic looking. Yeah, Light. I know. Yeah, if you... Looks like a force field or something. Yeah, I don't know how you would use this, but you simply just enclose another portal. Like, you can see it, but you can just enclose it. Or you can build another thing, just another window on the other side. If you're, if you're like, in a building, you can have another room over there and it's enclosed. I'm thinking, like, futuristic prison in between jail cells. You could have that and have, like, the bars across. And it also looks like lasers, so even if you got through the bars, there's lasers. I don't know. Really a weird one. But kind of cool. And you guys have to think of other creative ways you can use the end rods. You can just lay them in the wall like this. You can lay them in the wall like this and have it going down a hallway. 
and it's just gonna. Yeah, let I'll you... just, it's 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 like one of those pipe lights that you that you always see. Exactly. Like in uh, construction shops and everything. Yeah, it just looks fantastic, and you can even set it beside behind some uh, glass. It provides a little bit less light. Um, if you want it to look brighter rather than darker, instead of putting black glass there, put white glass there, and it'll look it'll actually look a little bright. Um, this is a weird one. I wanted it to look like. I wanted to place the signs right against the end rods, but I couldn't. But you place the end rods back, put glass in front of it, put the signs in front of that. It's, it's just interesting. I wouldn't say it's an amazing idea, but it might fit whatever you're going for. <laughs> so, and of course, you can just put. Cave John oh, what? the quote Cave, John uh, Cave Johnson. Folks, we don't know what we're doing here. We're just throwing signs to the wall and seeing what happens. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> um, of course, you can make a lamp out of glowstone. It's not like the first person to do that, but you can decorate it with signs or traversely. You can make like a little pattern out of it with a lampshade and you can, you know, make it your own. It's just up to you to decide. And another idea like that is you have some more glazed terracotta with some banners on it and you have a little bit of a more complicated lampshade for that. This is just an emerald block and it's kind of a re- I'm kind of just throwing it down again. Um, but the point of this is I was looking through my blocks and like the emerald looks like it's glowing and it's just an idea that you might not have thought of is to go through your blocks and just look through all your blocks and find blocks that kind of look like they're already being lit up like they're just bright already like maybe put ice here and just now you have this weird clear lampshade or maybe you put packed ice here. I mean, you just go through the blocks and find a lampshade that you like. But the emerald, what you find. the emerald looks like there's a light inside of it in this texture pack. And whatever texture pack you have, mm. odds are, if you go through the texture pack long enough, you're gonna find something that kind of already looks like a light. You know, and it's just something to think about for that. This is the same idea as the, um, as the blah, 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 redstone lamp hanging, but as a beacon does not need to be powered, rather than hanging it like this, you can actually do that, put it under it, which looks better. Unfortunately, you can't do this with a redstone lamp because you would have to do that to power it, but that's a cool idea. And then this, I don't even know what I was doing, <laughs> but it's a shelf, and of course, you can put an end rod underneath it and... You can do all sorts of interesting things. Who knows? With it being a shelf. Yeah, well, hopefully between all this lighting, they'll be able to find something that suits their taste. But yeah, I mean, with all of this, maybe you've seen at least one thing that you haven't thought of before. And that's the purpose of this video, is showing you one thing that you were like, oh yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys, and <laughs> thanks to the Atlas Build Team for helping me out, J-Man and uh, Hollow Point. But uh, appreciate all the help that they did. And yeah, if you like this video, leave a like, subscribe. I'm thinking about doing a medieval version of this where I do all of my medieval lighting ideas, which is much different. So well, not much <laughs> yeah, different, that can be but, drastically different. I mean, oh my god, <laughs> it includes a lot of lava and fire and Michael Bay. <laughs> yeah, 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 fire. Anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. Comment, tell me what kind of other micro tutorials you would like me to do, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks. <laughs>we missed one. I just realized I just realized that in portals produce light and I I've, I've seen this on PC but I completely forgot about it. But yeah, in portals produce light. And if you're confused of how I got this, I'm pretty sure you just build a regular in portal and then break it and leave one frame and then decorate it. If you're on console, if you're on a PC, I think you can just roll that at a block of in portal somewhere. But yeah, that's producing light. So if you want the world's strangest light there you have it, I suppose. Um, wow, I didn't think I would see that. It's like a, it's a like a little looking too. It's kind of weird. It's kind of trippy. I don't know why you would use it, but um, 
I suppose you could use it. I, and you could, I guess, hide it. But yeah, then... like, like, use it to simulate an acid trip? <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, that's a, that's the last one for you guys. In portals do produce, produce light. Well, beacons produce light, too, but when they're on. But, you know, who cares? What's over here? What's this light? See? the Oh, it's lava. All right. Lava produces light, If in case you guys didn't know. Yeah, anyway, I just wanted uh, to come back and show you guys the in portals. Yeah. <laughs> See ya.